Hey, this is another video by Pet Rock. Today I'm going to be working on, uh, it's a 2003 Ford uh, Escort ZX2. Um, I have no idea what the motor is. Um, something, I don't know, 2.0 I think, something, I don't know, 2.0 liter. Uh, anyway, uh, so um, I just got done replacing the, uh, uh, the wheel bearing and, uh, um, and hub on a, uh, in another video and now I'm going to uh, uh, service the brake caliper because they uh, uh, the brake calipers are missing some parts there's supposed to be a spring in here and uh, um, yeah so uh, and it's also sticking the the, the caliper is not sliding like it's supposed to anyway so I'm going to take it apart a little bit and uh, um, and lube the, lube it up and put it back together again So first thing first, remove the uh, two bolts on the uh, back of the caliper. They're 14 millimeter. Make sure you keep track of which bolt goes where. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, um, but I have the heads of the bolts lined up right now. And if you look, the one on, the, on your right, this one came from the bottom. The one on your left came from the top. Uh, from the top. Uh, they are different lengths, so you need to make sure, uh, keep note of that when you're putting things back together again. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, uh, first I'm going to remove the brake pads, uh, and they are held in by these uh, pins right here. Slide the uh, retaining pins out. And remove the brake pads. So these actually don't look too bad. Uh, so next we want to remove these little pins here. Just push them through. This one looks to be seized, which may be why this caliper doesn't work too well. Notice I'm pushing on it pretty hard, and it's barely moving. I'm literally putting my entire body weight on it, and it is not coming out. Okay, after a bunch of banging, I finally got the slide pin out. And if you look close, it's all pitted and uh, rusted, and the inside bore here is uh, uh, got a little bit of pitting as well. Uh, this thing just did not want to come out. So this car was missing some brake hardware, uh, and uh, don't know where it went, don't know how it got lost or, or what happened to it, but um, it just didn't come with this car. Uh, so I managed to pick up all the new parts uh, from uh, um, various auto parts stores because some of them had them in stock, some didn't. Um, I mean, I would say I could have ordered it online, but I just wanted to get this job done. Anyway, for example, uh, down here, there's a slide plate uh, that's part of the actual spindle. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a little metal plate, like these little guys, um, that's supposed to go on there that the brakes are supposed to slide upon uh, so that they're not sliding metal on metal and, and ultimately hanging up. Um, so I don't know why those are missing, but they're missing. Uh, you'd think that they would be a pretty much integral part of the uh, brake system. Uh, additionally, there is a little, uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed from the beginning of the video, but there's this little uh, M or W or uh, Epsilon, <laughs> this little spring clip um, wasn't there either. Uh, I don't know where that one went and I don't know why it was removed either. Um, but uh, I got a new one. Uh, this one I picked up at uh, AutoZone. It's a full kit that includes new pins, uh, new little uh, um, uh, clips to hold the pins on, and the new um, M clips. It's part number H5798. Um, the part number for the slide place for over here, that's uh, H5456. Um, I picked that up at O'Reilly's. Uh, let's see, I also got, it's Christmas today. Uh, I also got new rubber bushings uh, for the uh, caliper. 
Um, I got these at AutoZone. They're part number H16033. Um, then lastly, the slide pins. I picked up a new set uh, from O'Reilly. They were part number H5118. Um, if you wanted to pick them up at, uh, uh, at AutoZone, the same part would be H5133. Um, so now that I got all the parts uh, parts together, I'm going to start putting things back together again. So the first order of business is going to be to take the caliper back off because I mounted it because uh, it was going to be sitting overnight. And I'm going to sand the uh, bores for uh, uh, the slide pins so that they don't, uh, to get any rust that's built up in them. Okay, so here's a shot down the uh, uh, the top bore, but there's a uh, um, little bit of rust. You can see as discoloration, um, and if you've put your finger in there, you can feel it. There's a lot more in the bottom one you can see the texturing um, than there is in the top the bottom one has that rubber bushing that goes all the way through it so that's probably why it's all uh, discolored in there so I'm not really that concerned with it but the top one we want to get smooth because there, um, that's just metal on metal that uh, uh, once we put the slide pins in so we need to get that as smooth as possible okay so first I need to make a little tool uh, to get into that bore and drill it out so first what I did was I took some uh, tape on a large uh, screwdriver so the sticky side is out uh, and I'm just gonna basically wrap a strip of emery cloth around it now the tape won't really stick to the emery cloth uh, and hold it there this is more just like as a bit of a tension to it so now I have a tool that I can slide in and out of the uh, of the bore Just keep doing this until you, uh, until you get it nice and clean and nice and smooth. So once you've got it uh, as clean up to your satisfaction, hit it with some brake cleaner to get any of the uh, rust out or little particles of debris that may be in there. And now it's time to start setting up the, uh, to start installing the new rubber bushings. These new rubber sleeves, uh, which goes, this one goes in the bottom, they're pretty dry. And so they're gonna, it's going to be a little difficult to get them in just straight out of the bag or box, uh, either way. Um, so what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a, a, a brake caliper grease uh, to it. Now what that will do is one, it will make this thing slide in a little bit easier. And it will also uh, protect this inner, uh, uh, this inner bore and help prevent it from rusting. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit around the outer edge like that. Then I'm going to put some more on the center part and I'm also going to put some inside. Just slather it all in there. So now that I've got this nice and coated, one of the benefits of uh, this kind of uh, um, brake caliper grease as opposed to like uh, just your general purpose, multi-purpose grease uh, is that um, Brake caliper grease, one can withstand a, uh, very, very high temperatures, uh, especially those that are experienced in braking systems. Um, and in addition, it also has the benefit of not, uh, uh, not degrading rubber components uh, like uh, chassis or multi-purpose grease um, has. So now we're just going to get a little bit messy and we're going to start uh, shoving this thing down into the new bore. Out comes the other side. There we go. So now we have new rubber on the bottom. So now you can wipe off any excess and now you see if you rotate it around a little bit it's nice and free flowing. There's no kinks. If you look down the bore make sure there's no, uh, uh, no obstructions. It's nice and smooth. Next we'll install the new uh, uh, guide pin sleeves. Now remember they are two different lengths. This one right here goes uh, uh, on the top uh, where it's just metal on metal and this one right here goes inside the rubber boot so like the uh, uh, insertion of the rubber boot we want to put a little bit of brake caliper grease on this new guide uh, guide pin it's also sometimes called a caliper stabilizer uh, during my searching for this part it wasn't that easy to find actually and I drop it on the floor okay you only want to co uh, coat the first half or first quarter of the uh, 
the new slide pin um, for insertion. The reason being is that you want the dry side uh, so, you, that, so you can hold on to it. Otherwise this thing gets really slippery and, and it's almost impossible to get in. And you drop it on the floor like I just did. So I found the easiest way of getting this thing in there is to prop it with your knee, squish it down a little bit so it can't move, get a small screwdriver in the uh, in between it and stretch it over top. Like that. So once you got it set like that, you can start moving it in. Now you coat the rest of the pen with grease and push it in. There you go. So you want to make sure that the uh, rubber boots, the end of it, gets uh, p uh, pops into the slide pin. Once you got it pressed in, you want to make sure that the uh, the end of the uh, rubber goes into the little groove at the um, on the end of the uh, slide pin. And then you want to make sure that the opposite side does that too. And you do that just by kind of wiggling it in. Wiggling it into place like that. Hopefully I didn't cover that too much in this grammar. Because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so now to install the top uh, bushings. If you look closely inside here, there's a little lip on the inside of the uh, um, on the inside of the bore. This is to accept the corresponding lip on the new rubber bushing. So just like on the uh, on the lower part, we want to lube this up nice and good uh, and with some brake caliper grease. We, uh, because the this guide pin basically is is a uh, going metal on metal you want to make sure that there's plenty of lube inside of here um, this is where uh, this is why it the this caliper seized up was because this uh, uh, guide pin basically uh, rusted into this bore uh, so you want to make sure it's nice and lubed up in there um, uh, technically there's you can't put too much because once you put the guide pin in it'll push out any excess so to install this new bushing um, there's a little lip on the inside as I showed earlier and you got a little lip here. So the way I found that it's easiest is just put it in at an angle, keep pressing and turning at the same time, and it will seat itself. Now that you got the new bushings in, you want to make sure you lube the inside of the bushing nice and good on both the front and the back. Now you're ready to slide the uh, pin in. So once you got the top one in, make sure that it slides in and out and the bushing slides with it. Same with the bottom. So now we're going to bolt the uh, the caliper back up to the uh, spindle. So if you remember when we took it apart, you got two bolts with that are different lengths. This one's the top, the long one, and this one's the bottom, the short one. This one goes in here. This one, the long one, goes up here. When we bolt this up, also because these are going to be riding metal on metal. You want to also lube up the uh, these pins, this flat part, like that, so that these will slide properly. May seem like a lot of ex a lot of uh, use of grease, but the better lubed up your your caliper is, the better it'll perform. These things need to float. That's the, that's how they work, and if they can't float, they don't work very well. So got got those in. We're gonna put a little dab of anti-seize. The reason for this is that you don't want this thing rusting in place. Just a little dab, like that. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. You don't want those bolts rusting in on you. They're only 14 millimeter, they, uh, and there's not a lot of meat on these on the heads, so you can easily strip these heads out if this uh, uh, if these threads get stuck inside of the um, inside of the caliper. So now just line things up. Start them finger tight, making sure not to cross thread them, because that would be a bad day. So once you got them started, then you can start moving them in with a wrench. Now those are snugged in, make sure that the caliper can still move backwards and forwards. Okay, so now that we got the caliper mounted, uh, next step is we have to take this half of the uh, uh, caliper apart. Uh, in order to get the brake pads in there and all the other hardware. Um, 
So the, this is held on by two 17 millimeter bolts, one here and one here. Um, now you, uh, you may be lucky um, and be able to get a uh, wrench on this one, but in my case, this uh, brake hose is in the way and I'm not about to loosen that, that banjo bolt in order to adjust the location of the, of the hose. So I'm gonna do something that I normally I shun, actually. I don't like doing this at all, but I'm gonna end up having to use a, uh, an adjustable wrench on it because I don't have a, uh, um, a 17 millimeter open-end wrench, which I hate. If you have the right tool, use the right tool. In my opinion, this is never the right tool. However, I'm on a time crunch, so I've gotta get this done. I have no choice. Okay, so now I've got the uh, halves off. These bolts aren't that big. Um, these ones have a little bit of rust on them. You can get the spring in there and, uh, um, and lined up properly uh, without doing this step. However, it's quite difficult and uh, um, probably takes two pairs of hands in order to balance it. And then on top of that, with the uh, uh, if you're properly using brake caliper grease, you're gonna have grease all over the place. You don't want to get it on the pads, so it's just easier to take this uh, uh, take this apart, take this extra step, and then build the uh, pads and the caliper together in pieces. So I've taken the caliper uh, um, half and brought it over to my workbench, put it in a vise, angled it backwards a little bit to make uh, um, installation a little bit easier. <clears throat> it also makes it so you can see it better on the, uh, on the video. The way these calipers, uh, brake pads work is you got the brake pad and you got these little pins that the brake pad uh, float on uh, with some springs uh, to, and clips to keep everything in place. First thing you do is you take a little bit of uh, uh, brake, uh, brake caliper grease and lube up one of the pins like that. Then you take the inside, uh, you take the, I should say, the outside, outboard, brake pad. Uh, this is the one that's facing, that's uh, uh, closest to the tire. Um, and you just put it in place like that and slide the pin through. Now the reason you put brake, pal brake pa uh, uh, caliper grease on this pin is because, again, the brake pads uh, are sliding against it. So metal on metal, you want to have some kind of lubricant, otherwise it'll, uh, you can cause, uh, it can bind up and you can get a seized caliper just like this one was. Um, anyway, so next one, you take the next pin and lube it up too. Don't need to get a whole ton, just enough to coat and slide it into place. Like that. Next part, you take these uh, small metal clips that come with your uh, your hardware kit uh, or the with that came stuck and you insert them into the little holes in the pin like that now be careful with those uh, little pins they, t they are quite springy um, if you drop one or allow it to fly off somewhere uh, it could get be lost forever so uh, be careful with that so now I have the, uh, now this this pad is locked in place. These pins are now also locked in place. So here are the two pins. The grease is on this side of the hole for uh, both pins. Next comes this little uh, uh, spring. Um, I'm not really sure if it matters on wh um, whether you put it this way or put it this way, but from what I understand, these little nubs here and here have to go on top. So. I'm just going to do it like that. And they hook into the little hole in the cal uh, in the brake pad right here. So now I have the uh that one in. Now I can slide the other side of the, uh, the other brake pad into place, making sure that the pin goes in the hole. Like that. So here's the uh the spring uh the spring, the top of the uh, the little clips on the spring are over top of the brake pad and uh, uh it's going through the um the pin. You have the hooks on the end of the spring going into the holes on the brake pad. Hopefully that makes sense. So now you're, uh, this half of the caliper is set up. Now we can go back to the uh, car and mount this in place. Okay, so we're back at the car. Now we're about to uh, put the assembled brake pad uh, half of the ca uh, caliper back together again. But before we do, we want to take care of this surface right here. So this is an area where uh, the brake pad will actually ride and that's where these little metal clips come into play. There you go. Um, anyway, so these things are uh, um, just basically slide on 
just slide onto this area right there like that on both the top and the bottom like that since the brake pads slide against these things you want to um, because metal on metal you want to uh, lube these up with brake caliper grease not a whole lot just enough to coat and now we're ready to install the uh, uh, to put the brake caliper back together again just hold it up like this you have two holes a here hole here and hole there that these two pins uh, slide into so maneuver it into place like that get your new bolts put a little bit of anti-seize on them thread them into place by hand you don't want to cross thread these it'll make your life miserable okay so it's uh, all back together again so I did notice that this spring right here has given way a little bit and is not on top of the on top of the brake pad it should be and then make sure that the brake pad itself is against the piston so we're almost done so the astute viewer will notice that I don't have the rotor on this is actually on purpose uh, the reason being is that it's easier to wrestle all this stuff in especially with the springs and the brake pads and everything going in uh, without having to also fight the rotor so what I do is I'm gonna unbolt the back of the rotor and uh, uh, back of the caliper I should say remove the caliper from the spindle put the rotor on and then put it back on again that's much easier doing that uh, just unbolting those things real quickly than it is to fight this spring and fight all this other stuff uh, getting it all back together again okay so I have the caliper off rotor on he rotor held on with a couple lug nuts to make sure it's not wobbling around and then slide the caliper into place there you go now take the bolts that are still lubed from when you installed them earlier and start them by hand like before that and do them both so once you got it snug down uh, you tighten these two bolts down to uh, between 29 36 foot pounds so 33 34 foot pounds uh, um, and uh, we're done so now you have a caliper that can slide back and forth so as with any brake job, uh, before you take it for a drive, make sure that you pump the brakes uh, a bunch of times until they uh, get firm, uh, and then you start driving. Uh, the first time you press the brakes, your, fo your foot's probably just going to go to the floor, um, especially if you compress the pistons uh, during this operation. So uh, that's it. I hope uh, uh, this video helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, just leave them in the comments section below. I will, uh, answer, uh, I will answer any that, that are received. If you like this video, please click, click like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, I got more of them coming along uh, uh, as my stuff breaks and my friend's stuff breaks. I will make a video of it. Uh, so anyway, click subscribe and uh, thanks a lot for watching.